And we're back. This is my second video of my playlist where I learn Inkscape and make videos about it. And this time I'm going to talk about how to create React Angles in that free program. So there is a specific tool for that, which has the short key R, at least in this version of Inkscape. And you can just drag that free form and you can hold control and it'll snap in increments when you've got the 45 degree angle, you've got your square. And when you hold shift, it'll be created from the center on. So you can hold both keys at the same time and have a square created from the center position. So where you've put the cursor. One of you guys saw my first video on Inkscape and he gave me the tip that the selection doesn't work in this program like it does in Adobe Illustrator. So let me show you this. In Illustrator, you can just drag it with the cursor tool, in this case, or the selection tool. And you've got it selected, but in Inkscape, you need to click on it. You can see that right here, it doesn't work, but I can select it by having it entirely selected, and that works. And a third option is to just hold Alt and then drag this red line into the object and it'll be selected. So the tip came from a user called Yash Aya. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Thanks once again for this helpful advice. So let us now play a little bit around with this rectangle. Obviously you can just add a stroke, add some dashes or change the color by simply clicking on this fill and stroke icon at the bottom left. When you've got the rectangle tool activated, you can change the width and the height directly numerically in the top menu. Let me set that to pixels and we've got the radius for X and Y. And what that is, it's simply this circle up here. The first one is for the Y axis. So the radius in that Y axis. And the second one is for the radius on the X axis. So you can create these elliptical corners on rectangles. If you want to have it set to the same value, you should do that numerically, so don't use these circles. You can drag them back into position or you can just click on this icon in the top to return to sharp edges. And obviously you can just use this cursor tool and then resize it to the side, bottom and top and diagonally. And this is how you can create rectangles in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.